All right, guys, today we're doing a carburetor on a Husqvarna K760. We'll do the carb fuel lines, primer ball, the whole nine yards on it. Uh, first thing you're going to do is take this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt out. Take the cover off. Then we're going to take this bolt and this bolt out and remove this cover. I got to do it. Now we're going to take this bolt, this bolt. There's a bolt back in here and a bolt back in here. Take them out. This is a, all those are T27s. This is a still tool. It's T27. It's got the spark plug wrench on, on this side as well. Um, I think that's 9 16 or something. Uh, I'll put this in the description below. I'll also put the carburetor, fuel lines, primer ball, everything else you'll need in the description below as well. Okay, now you're going to stick this right through this hole into this bolt back here. There you go. And take that bolt out. And we're just going to kind of lift everything up. Now if you look down in here, the throttle arm. Hold on, let me get this flashlight on. throttle arm it just pulls straight up out of that throttle down there if you look down in there you grab it with needle nose pull it straight up out um the hose already came off the primer ball oh look it just popped out look at that so it just clips right down into that then uh go ahead and pull the fuel line off of uh this side of the carburetor and then all that comes right on out all right um, so this fuel line is fine. That's a return line right here. It's going back in. We're going to leave that. Uh, I just don't have that line, so I'm going to leave that. Uh, I'll see if I can find it in the description for you. We really got to clean inside of here. Um, this one right here is the one that goes to the filter. Fuel will be pumping out of that if you don't drain your tank. So try to drain your tank before you do this job, but if you don't, just loosen the gas cap a little bit and it'll stop. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the tank now and I'm gonna clean all up inside of here really well. And I'm gonna clean all up in here, blow it off with air, and spray it with carb cleaner. Just try to get the debris out as much as possible. All right, we got these fairly dust free. Um, we're going to go ahead and take this arm off, this throttle arm off of here. Let me go ahead and turn the light back on. Alright, so this just twists out. It's usually in like this, counterclockwise, get the top twisted out. No big deal. Now, there's two bolts, one here, one here, we're gonna pop them out. Them up and out, now you've got one here, and one here. And it goes right off. Then we just get the uh, boots out from underneath the carburetor. You got this one vacuum line right here that you'll disconnect from the boot. I'll inspect these rubber boots for cracks. A lot of times they'll split right here and it'll, it'll come right off basically. Um, right here or here. So make sure there's no cracks or leaks in them. Uh, if there are, this will not run right. You'll have to replace this. It's a whole setup. You'll have to replace it. Um, I'll see if I can find them as well. Those are a little bit more difficult to find, but I might, I might be able to find them. I, if I can, I'll, I'll put them in the description below as well. Um, and then, uh, so now we're gonna we're gonna get a piece of fuel line cut that's the same length as this one. This is the suction line from the primer ball. It's the short nipple. Um, here, let's just pop because we gotta get this primer ball off. Anyways, we're just gonna pop this right on off. You see, it's the short nipple that sucks the fuel through the carburetor from the gas tank. So it goes from the gas tank through the carburetor in the primer ball back down into the gas. So we're going to replace this. Um, you just push on one side or the other. This tabs. And uh, it takes two hands. But 
basically it's two tabs squeeze them together or just push on one side or the, this side or this side over here and it pops right out a brand new primer ball we're going to push back in just going to make sure that the short nipple is pointing down and then it pushes right back in until it clicks like that there that's done and the top line will go up on the top again no big deal i'll see if i can find this one in the description too i just don't have it in stock we're going to go ahead and remove this fuel line um, just pull it out of there i usually just cut it off you know with uh, some cutting pliers then you reach in through the gas tank and grab it and pull it out with needle on so reach in cut it let's get it out of there oh. And cut it a hundred times, get it out of there. Then this side, reach in with needle nose, and you'll grab it, and just pull it right on out. We cut a length the same as this piece, and we're going to put it on the new carburetor, like so. We're going to take the carburetor and we're going to reattach before we put it in here. All right, we're going to reattach this vacuum line. This runs the fuel pump. We're going to reattach this vacuum line right here. Can you get that in? So, then we'll go ahead and get this rubber boot back in place like so and we'll oh this is the old one <laughs> hold on it's monday don't hold it against me all right vacuum line on back in place and we're going to go ahead and get this all lined back up get the uh, bolts back down in and line it back up uh make sure it's got the uh old seal on there gotta have this rubber seal on there it's got to be in there and we'll get it all lined up, bolted back down. And we're gonna go ahead and get our throttle arm back into place here. Like so. All right, so that's ready to be put back on. Leave it over here. All right, now I'm gonna make sure that the gas tank is good and clean out so there's some concrete dust there we're going to try to get all that freed up clean out the gas tank on the fuel line in here we got it all cleaned out so there's less debris and cut your uh, fuel line to a point you're going to stab it in here and then you're going to work it down in there as good as you can get it so you can grab it with some needle nose through here and you're going to pull the fuel line out of the uh the, where the gas cap goes so as you can see I got a needle nose here. I grab it just a little bit above and I shove it down. Drag it up just a little bit above, push it down. And you just keep working your way in until you can see it sticking out this end there. You see I've got it down in there. I don't even see I got it. Yeah, yeah. You can see it down all the way in the back here, that black line. I got it down in there a decent amount. I'm gonna grab that with needle nose and pull it out now. Just like that. Now, if you don't have long enough needle nose to reach in there, you got to keep shoving, keep shoving until you get it to where you can grab it with your needle nose. Um, if you keep shoving in there long enough, you can take a, 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 a clothes hanger and do a little hook on the end of it and then just reach in there and grab it and pull it right on out. Now we're going to cut this uh, tip off so it's flat. Then we're going to stab a fuel filter on the bottom of it. Just like that. And then we're going to shove this down back into the tank. And then you just make sure that it's laying on the very bottom. You may have to take up some slack out of this, pull it back this way or whatever. Just make sure it's laying down in the bottom of the tank. I don't know if I can see it. Uh, so it's bent up. We want it all the way down in the bottom. Oh, that sounded good. Yeah. I'm going to pull this a little bit out. See if I can get that to back 
There we go. That's right. That's what we want right there. That bugger just hanging out down there. Where's the? Oh, there it is. It may have come out just a little much. Oh, it's all right on the bottom. I'm gonna push it back in just a little bit so that it lays flat on the bottom. I pulled it just a little too much. It's hard to see it in there, but I'm gonna run this back through this loop right here and get it pulled through. You know, just loop her over here, get it pulled through. Get it tucked in behind here. And uh, I'm just gonna leave that there. I may have to cut a little extra off of it once I get her, you know, the carburetor and stuff set back up in here. We'll, we'll know more. All right, now I'm gonna take this guy. I'm gonna hook up this line to the primer ball. I'm gonna work this throttle arm back down in with a pair of needle nose and get it to sit right into that. It's hard to focus on that. Right on into that, that lot right there where this is, right there. I've gotten that down into there. I'm going to very gently lift this up on this side and I'm going to stab the fuel line right into that nipple. Right there. Now we're going to make sure that the choke arm, see uh, this arm right here, sits right into this blue mark. You just want, if you got to pull it out or in, whatever you got to do, get it to sit right down in it. everything lined up make sure it's down in that that's all lined up make sure no fuel lines are pinched make sure everything goes in there just perfect now we're going to take our screw on the top here we're going to shove that back into place and we're going to tighten it down through this little hole right here that tightens right in. The bottom of that plate just sits down into a lip. If it's on the outside of the lip, you'll never get it lined up. So it gets down into the lip, then goes into place, and then you tighten it down. Um, and then just go ahead and pull on your trigger, make sure everything's you know, working good in there. And make sure your choke is working properly. It's all working good. Now we're gonna go ahead, before we put all this together, we're gonna go ahead and put some gas in it and we're gonna prime it and make sure it's priming up. Let's see if I got it right. Oh yeah. That's a great sign right there. All right, now, before we put all this together, we gotta to clean it all off. We gotta get all the dirt out of it. Um, we don't need dirt in our engine. So I'm gonna take this air filter right here and I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna blow it off with air. Now I will get you uh, <laughs> I will get you uh, a link for a new air filter in there too. But uh, you can just blow all this out. Look, look, see Robert, he loves getting the dust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It cleans out really nicely. Just gotta maintain your equipment once in a while. It's all blown off and cleaned off. Um, then you gotta get this one all blown off and cleaned off. This one in place. Tighten down these four bolts. Get them all tightened down. Go back through your chokes and your throttles. Make sure everything is working properly still. Then you put the air filter assembly back on, tighten this bolt and this bolt, pull the top off, get all the dust out of that. Like that. You don't have to have it perfectly clean. You can if you want. If you want to break out some interior cleaner, some McGuire Supreme Shine, you do whatever you want. Um, I find it's best to leave it nice and dry. It just blows off every time. Any wet type stuff will make the dust stick, and we don't want the dust sticking to a concrete saw. That's what wears them out. Uh, tighten these two bolts down. Go 
bolt, sorry. Before I go and start this, I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna blow it all, all in through here, off or there. I'm gonna just blow every little crevice. Try to get all the dust out of there before I start it. Because when you fire this thing up, a lot of that dust will sling out and it'll go right back up into your air filter. All right, guys, that helped you in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Um, all the parts will be in the description below that you'll need for this job. Uh, today's t-shirt will be in the description below as well. If you want me to wear some business shirts for you to do some advertising, mail me some. I'm more than happy to do some advertising. Peace.